Hi, so it's winter here. This morning it was minus two. Now heating in the shop is really by virtue of how many jumpers you can put on and still bend your arms. So it's a bit brutal on occasion. So, I bought these. This is some 4x4 or 100x100 uh, 3mm thick steel pipe and I bought it from somebody online and it came cut and to the correct size at no extra charge and I paid 20 quid for it. I mean delivered to the door. A crazy hey oh you can get that kind of stuff. Now I bought it because I plan on making a rocket stove and the rocket stove I plan on making looks like this. general layout's pretty obvious, hey? We've got that bit there, that bit there, that bit there. All I've got to do is cut a hole in here, put a door on there, maybe some feet and weld the whole thing together, and I've got myself a 20 quid rocket stove, because I've heard good things about these rocket stoves. Apparently, they're able to save 30 to 50% of the fuel that you use to get the same heat out of them, and that's kind of impressive. Now, it works sort of like half a stove, half a gasifier, where it burns the gas as it's producing the gas, and so we get a full burn on it. So when we have this bit here, the fuel goes in here, it creates a draft of air here, and that draft, fuel, fueled by the fuel, shoots up here, all the gases burn, all the wood burn, and you get incredible efficiency. Now, I've never had one of these. They're sold all over the place. You can buy something like this on eBay for about 100 quid or so. But 20 quid's worth of steel and a little bit of welding is going to be what I'm going to do with it. So it's pretty simple what I have to do. Cut a section out of here so that these two pipes can fit in. Now, I bought mine with a square open end like that because I happen to have some lumps of steel around like this that I think will make a good base so I don't need to have it finished. However, they will also mount a cut and if you've got it cut like that then clearly you've got your bend and you just have to weld it. All I'm going to do, mark this up, chop it out, I'll save that bit for the door and weld the whole thing together just like the plan that you saw. So let's get do some cutting. Okay, that's it welded together. Now, there's quite a few designs of these actually. I've seen ones with shelves in here, so you put the wood at the top and the airflow is through the bottom. I've seen them in a J shape, so you put the wood there and it's uh, straight the way down. Air sucks in, the wood drops down and that acts as the chimney and I've seen this shape. Now, I like this shape for no other reason than I like this shape and I'm willing to bet there's not a blind bit of difference between the different shapes. I'm also willing to bet that you'll get a ton of people arguing why their favourite shape is the best shape with lots of good reasons why. So choose whichever shape that you like really. I liked this, I got it cut to size and then it was a quick job to weld those bits together and that's the idea. It doesn't matter that it's this shape. If you uh, plan it, find yourself a service that'll cut you a steel and then it's about an hour job to weld the whole thing together and about 20 quid delivered. Now in order for this to work it needs, still needs a couple of things. One is it needs a door and for the door all I've got is a flap of the um, leftover cuttings. I've welded a hinge to it. I'll be welding that on there so that that will open and shut because you need to make sure that the draft goes through here. And the last thing is Although I'm going to change this, traditionally what these are used for is camping stoves and so they have some kind of cooking arrangement. So I've got a couple of little bits of bar steel with notches in them, they fit together like that and then we can weld them on there, we get our uh, cooking rest. Okay, let's weld them up. Isn't that cool? So, um, it does actually sound like a rocket when it's going. You can hear the whoosh of the draft at the bottom here. And this flames coming out the top is exactly what you want because that's actually wood gas burning. So we're doing a kind of um, gasification and burning at the same time, which is where it gets its efficiency from because mostly you just burn the wood and the gas goes up the chimney. 
Here we're burning the gas and the wood, and that's where we get the efficiency. Now this is a very basic one, and you see these for camping and that kind of thing. So you stick your eggs on there or your kettle. Now we can uh, make that a rocket stove mass heater. Instead of letting the flames go away like that or, or be a cooker, you enclose this in a cylinder and then you put some mass around that cylinder like concrete or fire bricks or something like that. And of course it heats up. It, it's surprising actually how much heat that's giving out. But it heats up the bricks. When the fire is done, of course it continues. Now it's supposed to run for about an hour from a, a single plank off a pallet. I mean, you know, I'm not 100% I'm not sure if that's true or not but it's certainly working a treat. And of course, the next thing to do is to turn it into a mass heater. So there's the basic design. It's the basic way you make it. It takes no time at all, particularly if you source your parts pre-cut. <laughs> and now we can turn that into a mass heater. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm gonna make a cup of tea. Thank you very much for watching and please remember to like and subscribe.